What's going on everybody? All right, so I finally finished my little minor remodel uh, for the trailer itself going into, you know, inventory and stuff like that. So it took me a while, uh, lots of, uh, lots of more cut, a lot of cutting, a lot more work than I thought I was going to take actually. Oh, about, I would say a solid 16 hours of uh, actual labor. And that includes, you know, disassembly and reassembly everything. So now here I'm going to go over what I changed and why I changed it. And I'll go through all my inventory again give you guys I know I get a lot of um, requests about inventory and what I keep all that kind of stuff so I'll go through it I won't go through any of my tools I'll skip over all that stuff because um, I'll link a, uh, the video of the entire trailer tour in uh, the description <sighs> probably should do another complete trailer tour but whatever so let's get to it uh... all right so here it is it's late so I got the light shining bright and let's get to it so you might notice is I got my levels and uh, pretty much eight foot length on the, I guess you want to say the driver's side now, um, to the left of the drawers. Drawers are widened to uh, 17 inches uh, so I can get, you know, pretty much everything. There's more, more storage in here, which we'll see. And then I've just got, instead of having the actual uh, Polk uh, modified total station, I've just got more length storage, which I keep obviously stands. Uh, prep, you know, prep materials, all, all, pretty much anything I want to with that one. Haven't decided yet, but it's gonna be filled for sure. So, let's get into it. The first one's obviously still same level. This is all plumbing. So, pull straight out. So we've got couplers, uh, reducers, all that kind of stuff. One and a quarter inch. I use that mostly. That's why there's, my inventory is pretty low on this. One and a half inch stuff. Flanges, wax rings, uh, garbage disposal stuff, water supply lines, pretty much every kind. I'm, you know, I keep enough of them. Uh, spigot, uh, miscellaneous. Uh, we've got quarter turn valves. Uh, these are all, yeah, all quarter turn valves. Clamps, worm, worm clamps, uh, copper. Um, yeah, anything to secure copper. And then we've got my right here this is my half inch copper supply all my angles so you guys can see i don't have a three quarter i just barely got any three quarter so i haven't ran across it um it's usually three quarter uh, i'm gonna have a plumber on site anyway and he can deal with it but uh if i need it i'll go get it and i'll get my make myself another kit like this but i haven't had to uh haven't had to yet so it's basically it. and we got more space down here but it's actually empty so Room for grow growth. That's why I did this entire thing. I got, you know, extra space in case I need it. So that's the plumbing. And we've got painting. So painting, again, I can, I can fit my brushes lengthways here. Um, yeah, brushes, Sherwin-Williams uh, paint color, just miscellaneous tools, all that good stuff. Rollers, expansions, shorts. Throw that one away. I've been painting a lot, so obviously this is this is pretty much what I have here, not on site. So yeah, you guys can see. So on this side we've got the extension poles, um, miscellaneous uh, you know picture hanging tool because it's, it's long and it just stays in here. So and then we got pans back here, and that's pretty much it. Mixer and the next step. Uh, a little extension there. And I've, got, I've got another one in here as well. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, that's basically it for painting. But, uh, yeah, super stoked. Next one is electrical. I do have wax. It just it's cold out. So, it does take a, once it's warm, it just, it's like butter. Nice. So, first one right up. Outlets, uh, 15 and 20 amp. GFCIs, uh, you know, you got your recessed, and yeah, there you go. Switches, kind of low on switches, and you're gonna need to stock up on those. Uh, went through probably 15 of those on a job, so I usually keep a couple boxes in here. But then we got wall plates, my general purpose, you know, blank ones, and regular um, are up top. And this just pulls out, I can set it over, and then I can get to the rest of them. Uh, double gang, you know, pretty much an assortment of everything you're going to need. 
crazy black ones because I had extra of those. Um, yeah, so you get the you get the gist of it. It's all here. We got some stainless steel ones, and this is just a miscellaneous um, spot. I'm actually gonna swap swap that over to the electrical. I'm well, not the electrical, but uh, to the back over here, just because hey, it's just it's not really kind of not where it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, conduit fittings. This is what I have usually. This was just left over. So, here we go. We got a bunch of kits, bunch of everything, EMT stuff. Uh, we've got exterior uh, outlets. Yeah, just stuff that I have in in stock. <clears throat> uh, fan box if you need to if you need to get to it without actually take going to the attic if you don't have the access to it that kit comes in handy regular light boxes and then we got just way a lot more single gang double gang boxes right here they're all in here um that's yeah that's it and we will and these are just tools i won't spend too much time but demo tools so See, I got shovels, vices, all that good stuff down here. So not really inventory, just just tools. But that's where that key is stored. Here we go. We got copper, PVC, um, some carpet padding or carpet plastic. That's it for there. So now here's the main part. Let's turn on the light on here. So my my modified total stations up here now instead of being back in this corner over there so very nice it's held in basically by its own weight and the table saw which i have a little stoppage right here so it doesn't fall over but it fits perfectly um so far so good no issues whatsoever um again i just take out the table saw first and then this thing just slides out and yeah it, it, it takes a minute to get it in there but this space was being this was dead space the last system i had you guys can see the other um you can go back to the other videos and see it just there was i mean it, the tail saw was all the way to the back i had a bunch of space up front right here which i'm not using here's going to be the uh 12 inch miter saw that i'm going to be getting and you know more tool spaces just because and that's going to be modified as well just so i can have you know more efficiency so nothing up here has changed this is all the same you know cox glues all that good stuff uh b killer yeah, all the same. So we'll go through the drawers. Small screws. You know, miscellaneous stuff. The bifold doors. Pretty much, you know, all the little small things. Washers. Um, this, this stuff, I, I actually come in here quite often for crazy stuff. So you buy those little small little uh, screw and um, bolt kits. And for some reason, I've got um, some cat <laughs> butt connectors in there too. But... It is what it is. So there's a bunch of stuff in here just doing some kids. So I have pretty much every screw I'm gonna need ever. Uh that's 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 how I like it for sure. And then picture hanging kit. You got you know miscellaneous stuff that I know I have here. Uh there's some random screw. Next one, actually I gotta fix this drawer. This is a heavy drawer. This is my nails. So gotta restock my framing nails. I got the uh the staples for my DeWalt uh stapler, regular staples. More nails. Uh, 16, 15, wait, 18 gauge. So, yeah, that's pretty. And then I have pin nails in here somewhere too. <laughs> but uh, they're there. So, let's go. This one's actually empty right now. I've been, I've been actually putting it all in, into the main electrical box so I can redo this one. That's why I did this as well. I get more space, more inventory, more tool storage, all that good stuff. So, blade storage. This is just inventory for blades. Um, again, I, I made this out for, um, I can fit 12 inch blades in here too, as well. Um, jigsaw, sawzall blades, and then obviously you got your circular blades, eight and a half, eight and a quarter, you know, you got your metal cutting blades, and then we've got seven, seven and a quarter. Let me see what we got down here. So yeah, seven and a quarter, 60 tooth. I know I've got 90 tooth, I think 60 tooth. I don't know if I have a hundred. I don't know if they have a ton or two in there for the miter, just for the fine, fine cutting stuff like that. So that's it for that one. That's just tool, drywall tools. That's not inventory. It's just tools, uh, painting tools, tape. Pretty much all the tape you're gonna want. Uh, not very organized, but it's here. 
So masking, tape, you know, painting, putting up uh, dust walls. That's what's you know the, the main thing here. 90 degree uh, tape, uh, some of the rhino board tape as well. So it's all here. HDMI's. Uh, so I mean, I, I get some, I get some of that work as well, obviously. But uh, all the HDMI's you're ever going to need from six feet or three feet all the way up to I think I, I got some 25 foot in here. So anything longer than that, I just, I just pre-order. More HDMI low voltage stuff. So we've got <coughs> coax wall plates, um, HDMI splitter. Is this a splitter? Nope, this is a switch. Then we've got uh, there you go. Here's your split HDMI splitters. USB to RS-232, more outlet wall plates, outlet RF modulators. So, yeah, just stuff that I keep in there. And here we have, I've got batteries, AA, triple A's, um, B's, C's, and then 9 volts here. Just because you're always going to need them. Uh, for some reason, I have got some flex seal here, uh, miscellaneous, some blues. Um, so I mean, for some reason it's the scanners in here, but yeah label maker so and it's that then we've got our 12 volt slash low voltage wiring and You know stripping all that good stuff for some reason the uh, VDV map testers in here, but it is what it is There we go uh, We got uh, Usually I keep my small TV mounts in here. So I got my dado blade for some reason I got the echo gear oh, switch or you got your wall outlet and then we got a wireless hdmi kit here and a couple small small uh, tv mounts but usually um this is actually gonna get moved around and i'll keep my regular tv mounts in here as well sanding paper sandpaper uh orbital disc sandpaper um drywall you know just your your sponges for your sandpaper so sandpaper and then down here this is going to be changed out as well, but I've got my third hand, my little third hand uh, for doing counter uh, kitchen cabinets, and then we got more low voltage electrical here. So that's going to be that's going to be swapped out. Yeah, eh, we'll go that one later. So I think this is it as far as inventory. But let's just see. so yeah, I've got here plastic uh, microfiber. So I keep most of my plastic. I've been running low because I've been using it all, but I keep a lot of these. I usually get like four or five packs of this. Your 400 foot 0.3 mil, all that good stuff. So, Romex uh, 14 and 12 gauge. Uh, if I need more than this, then obviously it's going to be pre ordered and I'll be, you know, I can go pick it up or whatnot. But this is just for the small jobs, small end jobs. No issues there. Uh, outlets. So I keep a bunch of, you know, search, you know, outlets. And then we've got more outlets. Um, that's in miscellaneous tools, I would say. Uh, jigs. So we're getting into the tools here. These are all my jigs. So, there we go. So that's it for that area. And inventory up here, all tools. Oh, we, I carry a spool of Cat 5E and I carry a spool of uh, coax in the back of the truck. Again, these are all tools. So no inventory here. Tools, all tools here. And then we've got, um, you know, aerosol, you know, WD 40, white lithium, uh, plumber primer. A bunch of stuff up here as well and um, spoons for my microwave so I can eat lunch um, lighting mask up here's my you know I got you know gloves uh, a meter uh, we got yeah that's basically all that is and then we got some fixture gloves as well uh, that's that's old <laughs> that's, that's that's not been, it's been there for a while and we got some more masks N95 these are probably pretty popular right now but and we got, you know, if I got guys working with me, the you know, iPro is great. You're gonna need it. Just, you know, everybody needs it. Up here, there's uh, I got some light bulbs up there for inventory, just just in case customers don't have them, I can you know make a, a small profit off of them and sell them. So, and that's not inventory. These are tools, obviously, but gotta redo that next. That's probably gonna be the next project right there. So, all right. So this is the main inventory. <laughs> so these are all my small parts. Uh, I'll go through each one of these because I get a lot of requests. Hey, what's in here? All that kind of stuff. But this tower is absolutely amazing. I got them a little off because I can obviously I'm using one hand here. So um, so I can just yank them off and show you guys real quick. But this is absolutely the, the this tower is fantastic. I've got I think 130 bins, separate bins between all of these. There's 12 of these. And I can't, you know, this is 
this is worth its weight. I get, I got this right for sure. So let's go over the top one. I got labeled, you know, tile and Velcro, but let's see here. So yeah, you got your spacers, you got some Velcro, like it says. So tile spacers, miscellaneous in there, Velcro, um, you know, mounting anything you need and empty spaces. So that's it for that one. We'll leave that one. Yeah, leave that one there. So now we've got long fasteners and self tappers. All right, so yeah, self tappers, like it says, um, not too many long fasteners because I have them in a different spot, but you got, you know, obviously I got much more inventory I can get in here, but this is what I need. When I need something, I just go buy a whole box of it. That way I have it on hand. So and get this over here. All right, deck fastener. All right, so yeah, like it says, deck fasteners, pretty much what you're gonna need, you know, you got whatever you're gonna need, all the way up to, I think these are four inches, four and a half, so. I usually keep, you know, a bit or two in each one of these, but obviously I've been using them, so, but that's, you know, that's just keeps me from having to go search for more different bits. So there you go, that's, that's the heavy one. I do use those quite a bit, so I keep stocking them up. So, let's get this. Just leave it there. It's kind of heavy. One-handed it. More long fasteners. So I think longs are anything over like an inch and a quarter, really. So again, some uh, nails, more fasteners, nickel, um, was a you know zinc oxide, all that whatever they call those things, and then drywall screws a little longer, you know, longer. So that's what I have in here. over here there we go AV work audio video so we've got RCA female to female um, or male to male whatever you want to say it so we've got all you know this is all just miscellaneous stuff most of the stuff I have on um, audio videos all um, you know ordered so I've got splitters diplexers in case I need it you know so HDMI is the you know Pretty crappy, but if you're in a pinch, you know, I don't, I don't know, understand why, how that even. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, but you know, you got your, you got your audio, and, and you got your crazy, you know, if you need to, if you need to bypass the ground for any reason, and then quick, uh, extra lighting. So, anyways, there we go. See, going through this video, I kind of forget what I have in here. So, there we go. Lay that on the ground. Yep, see, this one's locked in. Short fasteners. So yeah, like it says, I keep these in a the little box because you know I only need one or two of these at a time. So I got a, you know, I got a bunch of them, different different sizes. So, and then more short fasteners. Sorry about the shadow. There we go. You guys get the gist of it. These ones are really useful. As far as you know, I'm doing the tra uh, doing this trailer. It's I like the little self tappers. These are great. So, okay. all right. So we got Craig and Tap Guns. So yeah, Craig's Craig. I'll be using these here pretty soon. Doing a uh, little toddler tower. But you guys can see. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I don't have all the Craig fasteners, but I have the ones that I use. So, oh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Ah, we'll leave that there. We're getting there. All right. Ele electrical. So, like it says, electrical. You got your all weather ones. Um, you know, you're doing, your, you're doing your big boy ones just in case. Don't really use these anymore because I got the um, Dewalt stapler, but they're here if I ever absolutely need them. So, and then what we got in here? so the singles, yeah, the singles. So, that's electrical for you. And 
coax data. What do we got in here? We got plenty of space. Yeah, so right, some some data, some F connectors, and some you know just more fasteners. So we got anything in there. So pretty pretty straightforward. But these uh these little anchors are you know, obviously useful if you're working in the cable spot. These are useful if you're trying to attach cable to brick or masonry because you can get those anchors in and they go with these. So pretty. Great. We're getting there. All right. So, mounting. I've got two of these mounting ones. I probably should con condense them, but small mounting. I gotta, I gotta redo these because there's, there's not much in here. But yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing else in here. Small mounting. Nothing crazy. So that one there. TV hardware. You, you're doing TV mounts. You just save the extra hardware you have. That way you have it. So, you know, if you need it, I, this this comes in handy with mounting TVs because some, you know sometimes you don't have everything you need. So, absolutely valuable. Just keep it all. See, and that's mounting. So I need to put that somewhere else. <laughs> See how this goes. There we go. And last one. All right, mounting two. Big boy. All right, so lag bolts, mounting TVs, you know, mounting pretty much anything, but uh, these ones I do recommend. You get these off Amazon. You screw them in, and they they have a they have a like they pop out a little bit, and you can hang off pictures and anything like that. So it's really really nice. These are actually make hanging pictures really super fast. Uh, yeah, anchors. These are pretty sweet for hanging small things on walls. You know, pictures. You know, more anchors, lag bolts. All the goodies guys all the goodies so that is it that's all that for that that's pretty much my inventory for right now if anything changes obviously you guys will be the first to know <laughs> all right if i burn your subscription like and subscribe i know this video is long but i get a lot of people asking what i carry on the trailer as far as inventory and yeah so you guys take it easy enjoy and i'll see you in the next video